up YouTube, Prego Flop, and welcome back to a video my channel. Now, today's video, we're going to be breaking down the Firebase Fire Z gameplay trailer that Call of Duty released today. If you have not seen it, go down to my channel. It will be there. I upload it, or you can wait till the end of the video, and it will pop up then. Or click the tag on the top right, and also pop up. So, if you guys do enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you are new, and let's get right into the breakdown. All right, let's start it off. Let's go. So first opening scene here we have we can see the village outpost 25 Vietnam 1984. Um, this is just a big overseeing of the village, which I'm guessing we're gonna spawn and which we're gonna start at. It just shows us a wide shot of that, and it appears into another close uh, closer view of the village. You can tell this is the village from the campaign. Um, I don't know if it's the same exact place, but I know they're using the assets and everything from that. Could be a different place, or it could be you know a new place that just using an asset or the same place but you can see this looks maybe like a door is going to be right here to open a door um yeah let's continue it's just zooming in more to the um village and we see our guy here i think it's res resne or it starts with r or whatever he's basically i'm guessing the announcer that's gonna be he's gonna maybe talk us through the map you can see all the cameras here this is of the i'm guessing the map not just the village but the um, second part of the map, because this is technically a two-part map. So, it's, there's, I'm just, there's going to be no audio, because I just want to break it down, so I'm going to mute the audio. Also, we have here, Samantha Max is doing some recon, some roof-crawling stuff here. I'm hoping she becomes an operator sometime in the game. I'd love to play Samantha Max. This. She's obviously doing some, uh, she's in the field, she's sneaking on the base, she wants to take down Omega. And she's sneaking up on a soldier, which, I th he's... I, mean, I don't know if he's protecting or the, it looks like he is protecting the um, portal here. You can see another shot of the portal. See the guy there, Samantha Max is literally right here. I don't know if he's there. He went up there because the portal is on. It's always been on and he's just watching it. You see the dark ether portal. Samantha Max just stabs him in the neck. And this is an interesting part coming up here. She's just looking at the portal and you can see a hand that looks like of like a shadow hand coming out. And it just scoops up Samantha Maxis. Now, this is just where our team is coming in. You can see uh, ammo box right there. So we're going to be, this place is going to be playable. And it's probably going to be where we spawn. And just uh, our character's rec room, looking around the area. And nothing interesting here. This is where we meet the Samantha Maxis I'm in contact. He was part of Omega, but he's turning on him. I'm gonna, he's going to be talking us through it. Here's a zombie. Oh, that's the Omega Zombie. You saw the patch on his arm there. Just continuing. You can see a little Dark ether arrow here. So maybe this is an arrow to power to maybe turn on the portal. Because I don't think the portal is going to be on right away. I think we're going to have to turn it on. So this is probably just telling us the power. And you see the zombies down here and everywhere. Continuing. We're just fighting the zombies. The Dark por ether portal is right there. Which I don't... It doesn't... I'll, I'll tell you here. But it doesn't actually take us to the Dark ether. I was shooting and we just whoop jump into the dark ether portal and as you can see it doesn't take us to the dark ether it takes us to i don't know if this is like outpost 25 or the village outpost 25 this takes the outpost 25 the second area of the map here and you can see mystery box and you can see though maybe an arrow right here which would be the dark ether arrow and you can see tombstone right here let's get into a wide shot here you can see that's the Arrow looks like I was talking about an arrow over here as well. So maybe this, there's a second power to this area. So these arrows are just telling us where to go. And you see the little uh, shacks here. One, two, the big area here. And you see there's another arrow right there. Our characters run through uh, open area. Probably be a lot in areas to train. This is their new boss, mini boss. I think it's each round like the uh, one in the machine. Now. This is kind of like a Margua Keeper mix, except it's one head. It looks like his mouth closed, so maybe that's where you have to shoot. That's where his weak spot is going to be. He's just running out. You see a character so shooting at him. It looks to be a mouth. Another zombie's running. And I don't know what this is. I think this is a power room. You can see the uh, dark ether crystal looks like. And two little containers up at the bottom and up top. I think this is going to be a soul box. You, uh, obviously, uh, you can see that right there. Right here, you can see these little uh, blue stuff coming out when you kill a zombie. So this is definitely going to be a soul box. You have to uh, fill it up with souls to charge it up. I think it's going to be like a generator. Probably like the uh, Origins, 
generators where you have to uh, you click it and like you have to protect it and everything. It's probably gonna be like that, but it's going to be soul boxes and then it releases this energy charge which turns the turns a purple, which I think it meets powers on. I see the crystals are purple, these two things are purple. You got the Omega flag right here and a bunch of computers in the background. And this is another area of what the plane crash area is. I think this is going to be like an open area. Um, you see the big domes in the background and everything. I think there's going to be a different way to go in the dark ether instead of the portal that we jumped into. The beginning. Uh, you see like us running through the trenches. Uh, close out of gameplay shot of shooting a gun in the trenches. Uh, you can see a minigun. The minigun is, is back. A minigun or turret, you know. I think it's already set up on the map. It's, you have to, it's like a trap you have to buy. And you can see the uh, mystery box. Now I was seeing people thinking that th the light is just legendary. There isn't gun rarity. I don't know if you know they, they decided not to put that into the trailer because maybe like some costs or whatever. But every gun here is just legendary. And here is the wonder weapon. We go forward here. There's another shot of it. You can see the purple on the top. It's an AK gun. Basically. I'm the AK wonder weapon. So you shoot a little orb. Um, of energy it looks like and then you switch it and it turns into a regular AK and I think you shoot the orb on when it's on the ground and it explodes into a burst of energy which kills the zombies and you got uh, the um, the pads that from uh, Daraz and Drag those pads are a Wonder Sphere I think it is a Wonder Sphere is back but different you get some awesome gameplay shots with that <laughs> we also have Tombstone Soda a new perk coming in this map which we already knew it's basically like tombstone and, uh, and who's who's and everything, who's who and all that combined. You see another looks like napalm strike is coming into the game, um, and you can see the little purple stuff in the background. I think I've been hearing speculations that the dark ether is bleeding onto this map, like the, it's like a little island, and covering it is just dark ether energy. Um, we'll have to learn about more and more of that. And Russian mangler from Gorana Karovi. Those Russian manglers are back. Looks to be the same, maybe some new stuff, maybe like that's a uh, new star and everything, but I like, so far they look the same to me. Um, if you notice anything different, just let me know in the comment section below. He has this regular charge blast, he probably runs too, and here we go. The beast of them all, the 40 foot whatever monster, D machine, that you see around 40 in the dark ether, is I think going to be the boss for this map. Because we're obviously shooting at him, so I think he's going to be the I think he's the one... That kidnapped Samantha when you saw the hand coming through. I think that was him. Um, and he's basically going to be the boss for that. But it's pretty cool. We, I w w didn't surprise him to be a boss on you know this so early on. It's only DLC 1. I expect him to maybe be like another boss later down the road. But him to be a boss in the beginning. That's freaking pretty awesome. He shoots late. looks like beams out of his face and everything. And here we just have another shot. Have our uh, her contact walking away and. We were just saying, you know, if you betray her, basically says, I'm going to kill you. And I think that is an end of the trailer. Firebase Z coming out February 4th, just a week away. So, yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff here. They fixed that guy being the boss and everything. I didn't expect him to be that a boss of DLC 1. All these new stuff coming out. Um, I'm hyped for it. It looks like a good map to me. I am just I thought we were going to get Rick Toffin. You know, maybe he could come in a later map. Who knows? But this map looks good. I hope Samantha gets to uh, be an operator sometime soon. We can actually play, her, play as her since it looks like she's in the field. She's doing the work. Um, so, yeah. It, uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this map um, and the gameplay trailer. Um, let me know if you'd like to see Samantha as a uh, playable character. And we think Rick Toffin is going to come into the mix. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe. And until next time, I will see you all later. Peace out.